so that's Far's Quarry there. The uh, Chattox's uh, cottage is to my right, a bit further round. To my left, we go to New Church, literally just down to the drop there. Now, so we're outside Far's Quarry. My guess was the quarry, the original quarry, was further along towards the cottages, which are just a bit further up there. The road goes round and you come to Chattox's um, cottage. So I'm going to take you down there in a minute. I don't want to use all my battery's about to go dead. The hexagonal or the witch's star is literally in that brown patch of land over there. You can see a farm on your right hand side. The road goes all the way round past it and it goes up to Spen Brook, Spen Heights I think it's called, where the um, horse place is. Okay, so that would have been an ancient trackway and it runs right past that ground. And just to the right of that is a very wet area. Now we know this this is where the bull stones is just here. And I believe there's some very interesting stones just in this little bit of land here. And there was another stone circle just there. Yeah, these trees. So all these stone circles, and incidentally the one where I've just put in, is just over the top of that hill just there. So there was one stone circle, we've got St Chad's connection there, we've got a stone circle there, we've got standing stones there, and we've got a, a, a pentagram or a, a five star, a five sided star just there. And we've got the link to the witches in this cottage just up here. I don't think this quarry was Demdike's quarry, I think it's worth it further along this road. So I've just noticed in the walls. When you're looking in a church wall, like in um, Wally Abbey or uh, Wally Church at St Mary's, the, you know, you can find uh, fish-shaped stones. So we're outside Fars Quarry now, in Pendle, where Dendike was supposed to have done her bit. Just looking at the stones, look at that Pendle grate, can you see all those? That great inside the actual stones around here, right? Um, so we can see Pendle Grit in the stones here, but look at that, it's got a nice fish's shaped nose. And then it's got its middle section of the body. And if I put that stone, turn it round, can you see the tail? Turn it around and stuck it there, it would make a beautiful fish. Can you see that? From an artist's point of view, now we've got another potential, um, we've got the tail there, we've got natural lines in the stone, we have got natural shaped stones, that could be um, a fish body, find a little part of say that stone to put it there in a while, we have a beautiful trout. Do you get where I'm coming from with this? The three fish is what I found in Wally Abbey could be connected to the natural the natural things that people saw. Not necessarily to do with water or the three rivers but of the stones of the stones themselves which Evidently, they're naturally shaped like fishes. Put into a wall, we've got natural fish tail. Can you see that? So, we're right in line with what would be the five pointed star. We're right in line, alignment with the bull stones. Far's quarries on my right there. I've come and walked along. Chattox's cottage is just there. And here, behold, we've got a fish stone. You see it's a fish stone. You see it's, and it's huge. Here. It's huge. Now what I'm saying is, that wasn't Fars Quarry. 
Dem Dyke's quarry and little Timmy. It was here. It was here. And now you can see it's been stripped back. You can see this it's been stripped back. And there's lots of little stones. We've got rabbits running about, look. We've still, but you can see that's been manicured. That's been stripped back. That's only been partially stripped back. We've still got the megalith stones here. Those are megalith sizes. Those are megalith. That might be one megalithic yard. There's a boulder that I hide in. Got the sheep up on the field. So there's the fish. I need to get up to that stone. And it's very blue. The, the lichen on the stone is very blue, which tells me that's proper pendle grit, which is blue like. You see the yeah. You see the blue lichen on here. This is proper pendle grit. It's got like blue grit stone. Can you see? It's a better quality. It sparkles. You see that beautiful quality. If you want to sell stone, you'd be selling these because they'd pay more for the blue colour. You okay? Let's go a bit further on. And there's plenty of fish shaped stones in these walls. I've just proved that. I've just proved that up by Fast Quarry. I'm walking along here, there's plenty of stones that look like fish tails. But that is a big. Right, we've got some nice peat layers there. Every foot of peat represents 1,000 years, okay? Think about that. We've got gorse. We've got a mound. We've got a gorse mound, okay? All these things are key to look at. That's sacred, that. Incidentally, let's look at these stones in these walls. They're quite big. Come here. Come on. So it looks like there would have been a gate there, an old gate, and it would have probably gone from these farms. Look at some of these stones in these walls. There's the, where's, there's the witch's cottage, it's just there. Can you say, I'm not walking up there with the dogs. Then we've got another cottage here. Um, I'm more bothered about the quarry. You see it goes up, but it's been stripped back on one side. You can see with the tree here, it's had quarrying done. All this area is beautifully manicured. It's been stripped back. It's been taken from. It's been taken from to build the walls, the houses, the farms, the roads. So that's the witch's cottages there. Not down in New Church. There. And all, all this was the original farmstead. And look where I am. Right in front of where the star is showing from Google Earth. In the landscape. And to our right, the rig of England going towards Highham. Following it across. And it descends down into New Church and Barley. Again, St Chad's is right opposite St Chad's Well. It's right opposite there. So the well could be connected to the five pointed star. So my battery is about to go flat now. So I'm just going to use this little bit of battery left to show you on the opposite side of the road here we've got some beautiful red lichen on the stones that's because in the winter it gets really cold 
the sun doesn't really shine onto this area so the stones go like a deep red So this part of the hill has been partially quarried. This could have been the original quarry, just slightly further towards Spenbrook from Force Quarry. The next field along.